Okay, now we're gonna make a panda bear, and this is just like a double layered bear. You're gonna want one mushy black 260 blown up with about a five finger tail, and one white mushy balloon blown up with about a five finger tail. So they end up being about 25 inches when inflated. And what we're gonna do is twist off we go a little larger than a one inch bubble, right? Nice, nice and round. It's about two fingers. Twist that off and do the same thing. Do another bubble that's just a little bit bigger than an inch, about two fingers. And then we're gonna hold on to it. And this um, knot of the black balloon is gonna get tied around this second bubble right here. You can leave go of the first bubble, but not the second bubble. Hold on to that. And you're gonna tie this black knot around that second little uh, turn on the white balloon. And to do that, I tie it around. I have my finger right there holding this so I can push it through. right through there and I'm gonna tie it two times just to let you know and there's the end of my middle finger and I just catch that through and give it a little tug so that it's nice and secure and it doesn't come undone now each three fingers is about two inches if you can see that so you can measure and see if you have bigger hands or smaller hands how big that is but we're gonna want the cheeks to be about two inches of, um, wide. So lay down three fingers and you're gonna twist them together right at the end. And if there's too much air, you want a little mushy, you can squeeze it out. So turn these together a few times. And then we're gonna take a one inch bubble, a little round ear, it's about the same size as that first nose bubble, about two fingers. Pull it up and turn it. And that's uh, for one of the panda's ears. And then do the same thing, three fingers. Squeeze it a little bit to squeeze the air out. Turn it together for the panda's forehead. And then turn a little one inch bubble right here for the other ear. Let me show you. I'm kind of holding all this down and you pull the ear or pinch twist up away from the rest of the balloon and turn it around so that you can turn it easily. I did the same thing for this one. And then the side of the other cheek, it's three fingers, and again, squeeze that air. Squeeze it together down the end of the balloon so it's a little mushy. And here's the top of your panda head, and you're gonna wanna connect these, so I'm just gonna turn everything together and then find the knot. You see how this is separated a little bit? I take the knot of the black one and tuck it through the cheeks, uh, on the side of the cheeks. Right through here, and then right through the other side. Pull it a little bit, and then push it to the back of the head. This brings everything nice and tight right here at the neck and then retwist this bubble off and then you're going to want to go to the back of the head and push this bubble pull, pull them out apart and kind of tuck this bubble in out to the front and that's the nose of your panda wiggle it out a little bit there so there's your panda's nose and then we're going to make the feet of the panda I like his ears to be kind of facing out. And the feet of your panda, I'm gonna use three finger bubble, four of those, four three finger bubbles. One, two, three, four. Like this, and then bend this crack in right up here at the neck. So hold it together, and when you twist things together like especially a bunch of balloons into one crack and you just take all the balloons and you pull them apart a little bit and turn them so they go easily together so you have this and now right where this white bubble lands at the bottom of the feet 
you should, this is getting tight again, so I'm just gonna squeeze it here and here to fill that out. I keep squeezing all the air down to make sure it's mushy. I'm gonna kind of push my finger there and roll it towards me. And there I know that that's right about at the bottom of the feet. And then I'm gonna make the panda a little tail. So I'm gonna twist a one inch bubble, fold this down, pull this one up and turn it together. And then this bottom pinch twist is gonna get, or ear twist is gonna get flipped right through and wrapped around the bottom there. You can flip it back through. I like to come over. You can flip it back through to make sure it's not gonna come undone. And now we just have to make the back of the panda and that just gets folded down and you twist this in and then go right back up to the top here. Do it on the side. And then this is going to get twisted into here. So you squeeze that out a little bit. Pull it and turn it. And now, if you don't feel like pop twisting this off, which you can, but you don't have to, um, I like to save like the rest of the white on my panda bear so I can use it for eyes for elephants and parrots and other kind of animals and tigers and lions. But for like the black one, it's right to the end. And if this was full, full like this, I'd wanna try to squeeze it down and twist that off a little bit so it's uninflated, so it doesn't pop. Cut this a little bit and then don't leave go of it real fast, just in case like if there was more air it would pop. Just let it seep out a little bit and then go down. And then sometimes when you tie the remaining balloon around and knot it and pull it, it rips the latex right here. So then the air leaks out. So you're safer to just take this and tie a knot. Um, just put your fingers in and tuck it through. And then try to get it down a little bit closer. You're safer to do that so that the balloon doesn't pop on the sleigh. And you can cut off up above the knot if you want, but I'm just gonna tuck it in right there. Nobody's gonna see that, so it'll be just fine. And then the remaining of this balloon, you're gonna cut, you can cut right here and let it leak out, do the same thing, and then just tuck it in, tie it and tuck it in. And I'm just gonna snap pop it, and then I can let the air out of that one for a second. And then this one, I can inflate to about, two inches, tie it, and I can make a set of eyeballs for another balloon that I could use later on, like a dinosaur or anything. I use these little eyes for everything. I even will pre-twist uh, little bags of eyeballs and take them with me to parties so I can just pull them out. And you can keep the little balloons, inflated balloons in the freezer. I bought a big deep freezer for, um, well, I've tested it for a year. So the way you put them in the freezer is the way they come out, which is pretty awesome. So I can put these in the freezer and pull them out whenever I need them, which is really awesome. That's a little tip for you. And then this one, it's gonna tie that to, spin it around, pull it through, and then I'm just gonna tuck it right in the back. So I have this. Let me show you how to put the panda's eyes on. I like to position them like this, and sometimes I like to put them on little sticks. Now, who am I kidding? I always like to put the balloons on the sticks, but pull the knot up, cut it right up above the knot. It looks so much cuter when you put them on the little sticks. And then we're gonna draw the eyes on, and to draw eyes on a panda, you wanna draw little circles like this space them apart a little bit because you have to draw the other part around. So I have this and then they're gonna look just like fried eggs. So you're gonna go around that circle right like this. Make a little target. And it is a little hard to keep your hand steady on the balloon but see how I have my hand resting on it to help keep it steady. This circle's a little bigger than that one but it doesn't really matter, it's not like that big of a deal. 
Um, and then I'm gonna go around it again. So I'm gonna take this and outline what I have, but scoop down here, down and out like a fried egg. Scoop down and over to the side. Go over here again, scoop down and over to the side. Rest part of your hand on the balloon. If that's not even and it bothers you, like it's bothering me, do it again. Um, and then draw little circles here for the eyebrows and out and out. And then this part right here gets filled in because this is the black on the panda's eyes. And I'm keeping my hand here to keep it steady and filling this right in like this. And I draw a little heart type thing. It's flat, like a heart that's flat on the bottom right here for the nose. And I give him a smile right here. A little bend here, a little bend here, and then a little smile. You can put another little like banana U under it, or a little banana curve, and you can give them a tongue, and you can even color that in red if you really want to. There is how I make a panda bear.